Today in this video, I am going to discuss about number one, the definition of magnetic effect of current. Number two, how to find the direction of magnetic field. Number three, conception of where a state about magnetic effect of current. And number four, Biosevert's law about magnetic field. Hope you will stay with me up to the end of this video first of all you have to know the definition of magnetic field the definition is when current is flown through a conductor then magnetic field is created around it this is called magnetic effect of current this magnetic effect of current was experimentally verified by Weir State in 1819. Here the demonstration of his experiment. Here has copper wire, key, battery, thick sheet of cardboard with hole at its center. A range copper wire, key, battery, and cardboard switch is on. The ion filings arrange themselves in concentric circles around the conductor. This is because the electric current produces a magnetic field around the conductor and ion filings being magnetic nature align themselves in concentric circles. Repeat the experiment by reversing the direction of flow of current. The ion filings arrange themselves in concentric circles around the conductor but in opposite direction. This is because the direction of magnetic field changes when the direction of flow of current is reversed. Next, from experiment where a state made four decisions about the magnetic effect of current. Those are number one magnetic field is created due to current flow number two magnetic field exists as long as current passes number three intensity of produced magnetic field depends on the magnitude of current number four direction of magnetic field depends on the direction of current. Next, the very very important question is why does current produce magnetic field? According to Ampere, a magnetic field is produced whenever an electric charge is in motion. The spinning and orbiting of the nucleus of an atom produces a magnetic field as does electrical current flowing through a wire. Now, rules for determining the direction of magnetic field. We can determine the direction of magnetic field by using Fleming right hand thumb rule. 
imagine the conductor to be held in your right hand with the fingers curled around it if the thumb points in the direction of the current then the curled fingers show the direction of the magnetic field here i took four scenarios to make you understand about the direction of magnetic field first case the current is flowing vertically upward so here i am keeping my thumb along the direction of current then rotates my finger the tip of fingers is anti-clockwise so here the direction of magnetic field will be anti-clockwise next the direction of current is vertically downward so here I am keeping my thumb along the direction of current then rotates my finger here the tips of finger is clockwise so in this case the direction of magnetic field will be clockwise next the third case the current is flowing horizontally left side so here I am keeping my thumb along the direction of current then rotates the finger so here the direction of current will be like this next the fourth case the current is flowing horizontally at right side so here I am keeping my thumb along the direction of current then rotates the finger here the direction of magnetic field will be like this hope you have able to understand how the direction of magnetic field can be determined now I am going to discuss about the bio Savat law to calculate the magnetic field at any point bio Savat law is used let consider an arbitrary shape current carrying wire let the current is I due to current a magnetic field will be created around it now we consider a point inside the magnetic field P okay now we consider an infinitesimal length on the wire DL let consider the distance between the point P and the middle point of DL is R. When the current reach at point DL, then its direction will be along the tangent. Now consider the angle between the direction of current and the distance of point P is theta. Now according to bio Savart, the magnetic field due to the length of DL will be dB proportionals to I. Here I have taken dB because the length is here infinitesimal that's why the magnetic field at point P will be also infinitesimal next this magnetic field at point P dB will be proportional with the length of the wire that is DL this dB is also proportional of sine of theta 
and inversely proportional the square of distance now to remove the proportional we have to use a constant and here we take k i dl sin theta by r square the magnitude of k depends on the unit of i dl sin theta r quantities and also the magnetic properties of this space the value of k is 10 to the power 7 tesla meter per ampere next we can write k as mu naught divided by 4 pi where mu naught is magnetic permittivity or permeability of vacuum space its value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere putting the value of k from the above equation we get db equals to mu naught i dl sin theta by 4 pi r square this is the equation of biosabat law the magnetic field at point p now if we want to get the magnetic field at point p due to the whole length of the wire then we have to integrate this equation then we get b equals to integration of mu naught i dl sine theta divided by 4 pi r square we also can represent this equation in vector form here it is in magnitude to convert it in vector form we have to multiply the right side with a unit vector then we can write b equals to integration mu naught i dl sine theta divided by 4 pi r square here the unit vector is eta cap next you know the unit vector is equals to the vector and uh, the ratio of the vector and its magnitude that's why we can write here mu naught i dl sine theta and instead of unit vector we can write vector r divided by its magnitude divided by 4 pi r square next we can rearrange this equation as like mu naught i 4 pi integration r dl sin theta by r q you know from vector that a b sin theta is equals to a cross b here r d l sin theta so we can write this equation as mu naught i divided by 4 pi integration r cross d l divided by r q this is the biosavert's law in vector form hope you able to understand it further if you have any question then you can send me in my inbox up to my next class keep smiles 
stay home and stay with study. The video and its content is subjected to copyright. Convention of this video elsewhere is a punishable offense. Any redistribution or reproduction of part or all of the contents in any form is prohibited. You may not issue or commercially exploit the content, nor you may transmit, duplicate, publicly display, or make derivatives of this video. The video is protected by intellectual property claims to stimulate and ensure originality. All rights reserved by Adam Chingetanon College.